Hi. Now, in the last part of this question, we're told that Tom invites Avisha to play a game with these dice. And Tom spins a fair coin with one side labelled 2 and the other side labelled 5. And when Avisha sees the number showing on the coin, she then chooses one of the dice and rolls it. And if the number showing on the die is greater than the number showing on the coin, Avisha wins. Otherwise, Tom wins. Now, Avisha chooses the die which gives her the best chance of winning each time Tom spins the coin. And what we've got to do is find the probability that Avisha wins the game, stating clearly which die she should use in each case. And what I've done here is we've got from the previous part of the question, we've got the score on the blue die represented in this probability distribution here. And I've also got the probability distribution here for R, the score on the red die. So if this is a question that you would like to do, I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. You can come back when ready and uh, check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So to do something like this, for Avisha to win, let's just put here probability that she wins, What's got to happen? Well, she tosses the coin first of all. Now, it can come up with a 2 or a 5. So let's just suppose that she tosses the coin and gets a 2. Then what's she got to go on and do to, in order to win? Well, she's got to beat this score of 2. So the only way that she's going to do that is to throw the blue die. Because getting a score of more than 2 would be to get a 3 or a 5. And that probability is 4 sixth, the total of these two. Whereas if she was to throw the red die, she's got a 2, so she would need to get a 4 or 6. And that probability is only 2 sixths. So she's more likely to win if she chooses the blue die. So let's just write here that she goes on to do the blue die. So it's probability of the blue die getting a score that is greater than 2. So she can win if we have that scenario. Or, so it's a mutually exclusive event, so put a plus here, she could spin the coin and get a 5. But if she spins the coin and gets a 5, she's got to beat this score now. So which die is she going to pick? Well, if she was to pick the blue, she can't get more than a score of 5. Okay, So she just can't use that one. She's forced to go for the red one. So in other words, she's got to throw a 6 on the red die Okay, in order to win. So say probability that the red equals a 6. So it's just a question now of putting the probabilities in. So the probability of getting a 2, we're told that the coin is a fair coin, so it's going to be a probability of a half. Multiply this now by the probability of a score more than 2 on the blue die, so that's going to be the 3 and the 5, a total of 4 sixths. So we do a half of 4 sixths. And then we add to this the probability of getting a 5. So on the fair coin, that's going to be a half. And the probability that the red die comes up with a 6 is 1 6. And so if you work this out, so we've got here 4 twelfths plus 1 more twelfth. And that's going to be a total of 5 twelfths. And there's your answer. All right.